hey what's up guys welcome back to another part of the invoice management system application we are on part 28 and this time we are working on generating reports or generating um, PDF files from the system okay now if I go to the application we have eight eight invoices inputted in the app now I want to generate a PDF detail information about these invoices all right now i'm gonna open the folder that is right here it's gonna be in the src folder all right now look at what what, what will happen if i want to generate this invoice if i want to generate a pdf of this invoice it's having invoice number 88 so i'm just gonna type the invoice number here and click search by searching it's just gonna do search okay it's gonna show me that invoice let's say I want to generate the PDF I'm gonna open this folder and pin it to top so that you see how fast that generation is done all right let me just do this pin it all stay on top and I'm gonna click generate invoice I'm gonna click search right here you can see that the file is done so I can open it and this is how it looks really beautifully designed and it is definitely a PDF file okay so you can just print this and you sign this and then hand it over to your client great all right so now if I want to generate the entire report or the entire data to PDF I just have to leave the site criteria blank and then click generate to invoice or generate invoice and click search so right here we have eight invoices successfully generated Okay, and if you look into your folder, you should be able to have all the eight folders right or eight files right in there. So this is what we want to do in this video. All right. Now the first step is to install the report lab. By the way, before we get into this video, I would like to remind you that we have a Patreon page, and you can go to patreoncom abadi if you want to support us to do a lot more of these kind of videos. Okay, and all the source codes will be right there waiting for you for all of us paid or our premium supporters on patreon right to install report wrap you're gonna do pip install report lab okay and then next you'll have to import report lab modules into your views.py i'm gonna copy this and then install it in the application let me just open another new window Sorry, I should have the wrong server. I just wanted to um, run the pip installation. Uh, sorry, I want to do uh, the report lab installation. Just gonna press enter. And actually, I've already installed this, so it should tell me that it is already installed. So while it is doing its thing, let's just go and get this import and paste it in the views.py. Switch over to views.py. So right in the imports, I'm gonna paste it here. All right, so you're gonna import the report lab PDF gen, lib page size, you know, the letter, the landscape. You you have the um, plate pause, import images. Okay, now uh, those are the um, four imports that we should be doing in the views the py. And next, we're gonna copy this very very long code, but don't worry, I'm gonna explain every single um, bit of it. So just scroll down and copy it yeah you keep scrolling down okay and this has to be pasted in the list invoice view so right uh, where we do the post or where we do the search I mean uh, we're gonna be pasting it just below the Within that if statement, I'm gonna paste it right here. So when I was copying, I got this uh, that I need to remove. Um, okay, so this is all that you gotta get. Let me just do the indentation properly. I have to indent that a bit inside. All right. 
okay let's save that and make sure that our server is running oh print uh, writing this is not necessary but I put it there just to see that it is actually printing or doing its um, thing I'm just gonna remove that hopefully I will update the code to not display that error so you cannot delete that and hopefully I will um, update the error to not um, include that all right so let me s explain what this mean okay but before do that but before doing that uh, let me add the the generate invoice button you want to create a generate invoice button right here that will be selecting as I showed you at the beginning of this video so that is this last part here so I'm just gonna grab in fact let me just copy this part only and paste it in uh, here okay I'm gonna add it right here generate invoice okay so we have our invoice list page so right here um, I need to add this code as well right here we need to add the field name the new field name that is called generate invoice okay remember we were using a crispy as field and with that we have explicitly defined every single field that we have so that the form will render it on the browser okay Chris we got pass it valid in existing field generate invoice okay it has to be generate underscore invoice save it reverse okay good so we have that now what this code is doing in the views the py so once we click on that search button when we click on the search button it's gonna check if we um, select this generate invoice checkbox that is doing uh, that is what this one is doing okay so if we do this search it's gonna also do another check if the generate invoice is checked that means if the value is true we're gonna um, take the query set that we have here okay and give it to a variable or call instance so we're gonna have a data file as a variable and then assign that okay I could have signed this directly here but um, let's just leave it as is so number of invoices generated this is gonna be uh, the one that is gonna pop out on our message and then we're gonna create a function and that function um, will take in the data that was um, assigned here okay the data whatever data that we have there is what's gonna pass what's gonna be passed into this um, function right so it's gonna check uh, for all those data Okay, for every single data that it that was passed in for row in um, invoice data okay it's gonna assign the invoice type will be row dot invoice type okay whatever was in the invoice type of that data will be assigned to invoice type and then we're gonna do the same for invoice number date name phone okay as well as the line one line one quantity line one unit price line one total price so we're gonna do the same for line two all the way down to line 10 okay you can also automate this but I'm not gonna show you that in this video but you can automate it actually using a Python list okay so that you don't have to um, do all of these stuffs but anyways let's proceed okay so it's gonna do the same for total and then it's gonna give our file uh, a file name PDF file name is gonna it's gonna be equal to the uh, the invoice number plus an underscore and the name of the invoice plus PDF it's gonna do concatenation all right so if the invoice number is one and the name of that individual who owned the invoice is Abdul Rahman it's gonna be zero one underscore Rahman dot PDF that will be the name of the PDF file that's gonna be generated or that's gonna be downloaded great now uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna call that function okay as a function that we will define it here okay so we define that function with this the, the parameters the name the invoice number all the values or all the all the values that we have um, in the uh, the database the model 
including the PDF name that's right here okay so basically whatever we have in here is what we're gonna pass in to that variable or to that function all right sorry this is the function definition here and we're gonna call that function and give it the detail that was actually defined here okay so this and that should have exactly the same um, parameters okay so these are the parameters and these are going to be the arguments that's going to be passed into those parameters and now that function is now responsible for drawing and designing the pdf file okay so we're going to call uh, canvas that's already imported uh, right here okay that's going to be part of the uh, report lab and it's already imported here so we're gonna call that we're gonna give it to a variable called C so the canvas will be uh, taking in um, the PDF file name as an argument okay so we're gonna also have another variable called logo that's gonna be um, tied to whatever logo that we have and that has to be pasted in here so this is the logo that I am using okay for that particular logo um, um, variable here okay, this one now this is the part where we will define which logo will be drawn on the PDF file and what are the positions on that PDF file so this is gonna be actually from the left and this will be from the bottom so you're gonna do some testing depending on what type of paper you're using so you're gonna do some testing so when I did the test and the de design based on the design as well so when I did the testing, 50 actually worked for me from the left and 700 from bottom worked for me. So you keep on trying until you get the actual position of whatever you wanna print on that paper. So you're gonna set the, um, so that's what the, that's what gonna paste or that's what's gonna draw the, the logo on the page. So this will um, paste the logo on the top center of the PDF file now we want to draw the i'm going to delete this i'm going to remove all of these from the uh the code actually that's on the website so that i can make it a little bit shorter now we're gonna we want to draw the uh the invoice type okay? this one right here okay so this is what we are drawing so that should be 400 from the left and 660 from bottom is gonna put it right here let me open another one just to confirm that that's what we are drawing let me see okay this one has a name okay very good so this is invoice and that's what we are pasting or that's what we are printing on that paper okay so next we're gonna maintain the same actually I can also remove this line because it's just um, setting the parameters uh, and the font size of the print or the the text that's gonna be printed so what how this thing works is it's gonna set you're gonna pick your text title or text type and also pick the size of that um, text that you want to print and then use the draw centered string with these um, values to print whatever you want to print okay so since we've already set the helvetica and 12 up here i don't have to add this one as well so i can remove that because we're going to be printing this variable with exactly the same styling okay so we're gonna print that one as well okay yeah that's where the printing is done we're gonna print that as well so we're using this as a variable to put these two together and then print it right here yeah so we're gonna do another printing and actually it's just the same so i'm gonna remove all that i hope you know you get what i'm doing right now so we're gonna be printing date and that is gonna be this right here okay we're gonna be printing that 409 from left and then 640 from bottom so we printed the date okay we set the fonts it's the same font again so i'm gonna remove that and then on the um on the adjacent of that we're gonna print the invoice date okay so we're gonna print date as string and then print the actual date that is coming from the database right here so we have none and the database so we printed none on this line 
okay so when we move to amount we printed the amount and then printed the total with a d colon d in front of it i can put dollar sign here okay and i'll print dollars and that will be actually this and that so that's what you're gonna be doing for the rest of your page okay so this one i just printing um underscores that's gonna be giving us these lines right there okay i'm printing i'm printing 10 lines so 10 lines will give us all of these right here okay and then i will continue on printing whatever i have as the header that is this items quantity unit price and line total so like um, I explained you just have to define where from the left and where from bottom okay so you're gonna do that for all the others so when I get to the data itself I don't want to print the entire data right here I just want to print only what we have in the database so that's why I just said if line 2 is not blank then print line 2 information likewise line 3 and line 4 so that's why we have only laptop and not right here because uh, for this particular invoice number you only have two items so you're gonna print whatever is in line one that is this one right here and then decide whether it's gonna print for line two or line three all the way down to line 10 okay and you can also automate that using uh, Python list okay now we're gonna print the total and sign like the uh, same way I explained you're gonna print the total right here and sign so with the total I'm using a different font size okay using different font um, yeah font type okay font type is Helvetica bold and this one to Helvetica bold but with a uh, size 20 so this is all what I did to be able to print this on the PDF and then you're gonna say so page and then save and then um, you gonna this is gonna now execute that data file and that will be able to uh, generate your PDF file for you okay great so um, that's all you gotta do to be able to print this PDF file or this document on a PDF file and if you to test it let's click on generate and print uh, line 4 the one on line 4 that is invoice number 22 I'm gonna delete everything and print PDF number 22 okay great I'm gonna print that and that's actually what we have here let's verify the data amount is 50 invoice number 22 the date is none have this as the two and the phone number is that you have laptop and now so let's get in there okay actually we had two 22s so let me just do this you have 22 and the none right here okay and this actually uh, will cause you to duplicate because I am printing that same invoice twice so you will be seeing only one invoice right here so it's gonna print and then print over it again like if you look at the uh, the notification if I print 23 it's gonna print it's gonna say three pages printed but because we're not validating this invoice numbers it's gonna be printing duplicates okay or generating one but repeating and overriding the previous one if I click that you can see three invoices were actually generated but when it prints um, the first one the name of that invoice will be 23 yeah pdf, and it's gonna print another one or generate another one that will replace whatever was there and then replace the second one as well so that will just give us the last figure okay the last figure so if you're gonna do this you have to make sure that you validated the invoice numbers so that um, the the generation will be done uh, accurately all right so and I hope you're able to do that because we've done a field validation in a previous video all right so this is how everything is working and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to hit the like button if you have any questions leave them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video